This video discusses some troubleshooting tips for the Citation Mustangs flap system. It provides an overview of the printed circuit board based flap controller circuit, the power drive unit, proximity switch locations, and possible system cast messages, as well as the utilization of CDMS to troubleshoot. The flaps are located at the inboard trailing edge of the wings. They are hinged for operation in three positions, 0 degrees, 15 degrees, and 30 degrees. Each flap panel is operated by an actuator mounted on its respective rear wing spar. These two actuators are controlled by the power drive unit within the center belly area of the aircraft. The power drive unit receives commands from the PCB flap controller circuit. The printed circuit board generates those commands based on inputs received from the proximity switches within the throttle quadrant and within the flap bell cranks. There are seven flap proximity switches within the wings of the Mustang. There are three in the right flap sector and four in the left flap sector. The three on the right are located at the 0, 15, and 30 degree positions. The four on the left are located at the 1, 14, 16, and 29 degree positions. To access the left interconnect position control proximity switches, remove panel 315AL. There are three proximity switches within the throttle quadrant of the Mustang. They are located at the up, takeoff approach, and land positions. The zero degree switch is at the up position, the 15 degree switch is at the takeoff approach position, and the land position is monitored by the 30 degree switch. The most common areas for proximity switch issues are the left flap sector or the right flap sector. So, most flap system calls the team Mustang are about the flaps fail message. If the flaps fail cast message is the only message that shows, the issue most likely is a proximity switch or trans orb in the left flap sector. If the flaps fail cast message is accompanied by a stall warn cast message and a red X over the flaps position indication, the issue is probably originating from the right flap sector. If a flap system cast message illuminates, Team Mustang recommends utilizing the Citation Diagnostics and Maintenance System to assist with troubleshooting. To utilize CDMS to troubleshoot the flap system, navigate to Chapter 45, Central Maintenance, in the ATA Chapter drop-down box. Select either the NZ001 Flap Control PCB or the NZ002 Flap Monitor PCB from the main group drop-down box. Both boards have pins corresponding to the switches within the flap handle and flap sectors. Please remember that once the aircraft is powered down, the pin that has an issue may clear and possibly go back to a no-issue status. So check CDMS before powering down if you have had an issue during flight. There are two printed circuit boards that monitor flap system proximity switches. Both hold information on the flap handle switches, but the flap sector pins for each side are on different boards. The flap control PCB, NZ001, shows information about the four proximity switches in the left flap sector. Shown here in the troubleshooting chart, one can see that the pins 5, 6, 11, and 12 correspond with the left flap sector proximity switches. For example, if the flap handle is in the up position and all the proximity switches in the left flap sector are functioning properly, the zero degree switches should read as follows. Pin 5 should show the message not 1 degree. Pin 6 should read not 14 degrees. Pin 11 should read not 16 degrees. And pin 12 should read not 29 degrees. Conversely, if pin 12 confirms 29 degrees when the handle is in the up position, that would indicate the 29 degree proximity switch is failing. The flap monitor PCB, NZ002, contains the right flap sector troubleshooting inputs. The PCB is located in the upper right corner of the aft J box. The second chart, shown here, provides an avenue to troubleshoot the right flap sector as well as the flap handle. A PDF version of these charts can be located on Cessna support under the Systems section of the 510 page. Please remember not to power down avionics if you have a flaps fail cast message in flight. The CDMS indication showing where the issue originated from may clear if you do. Prior to replacing a proximity switch or transorb, verify the rigging of the proximity switches isn't the issue. We also recommend the following. Check the flap cable tensions. Listen to investigate if the flap actuators are making noise or binding. Monitor the overcurrent pin in CDMS to ensure the flap PDU is still driving the flaps. 
For further explanation, you may consult your aircraft maintenance manual at 27-50-00, as well as the 510 expert system. Within the expert system, select Chapter 27, Flight Controls, then Flap System to access component pages, pictures, troubleshooting information, and a description of the system. Please direct any questions to Team Mustang at 316-517-5490, or at 877-832-6510, or at teammustang at txtav.com.